for nuclear. Then they move to thorium type of electrical generation. And then they move to some sort of uh, zero point electrical generation. And that is what they currently use. This is totally unreal that this happened like in 1942 on this planet. Extraterrestrial come from who knows where out in the galaxy. Germany gets to be the country that these Draco reptilians pick out to do two types of missions. One, to remove all of the people that Hitler didn't want in his country and every one of them around the planet. Two, to take every man, woman, and child on this planet and put them in slave factories, men, women, and children, to, con to build and construct all these different types of Draco Navy space battle group ships. This may sound like insanity. This is what happened. He had concluded from what these insiders were telling him that the Germans had actually made treaties with a highly aggressive and highly negative reptilian humanoid race that they've called the Saurians or the Draco. This treaty involved the Nazis actually being given workable technology that is built with our own conventional systems. They use a sort of mercury turbine, a type of mercury called red mercury. And then they are actually able to leave the Earth. They had a settlement on the moon. They had a settlement on Mars. And they were doing this stuff as early as 1939, even before World War II actually started. As you can imagine, everybody was thinking he was crazy. But yet these insiders were reporting literally standing there in which you have 8-foot tall, even 12 to 14-foot tall reptilian extraterrestrials, terrifying in appearance. They smell bad, actually advising the Germans on how to build this stuff in these various bases, including that in Antarctica. Operation High Jump was an operation commissioned in 1947 that was led by Admiral Richard Byrd. And on the public level, it was said that this was a scientific exploration. But what happened was that this operation was commissioned with 33 ships, 13 aircraft, and 5,000 men. Now, this was not a scientific exploration with that many men and that many ships. What Operation High Jump actually was commissioned for was to go down to Antarctica and basically root out the Nazi installations that they had built pre and during World War II. The DC flyover was an event that occurred over successive weekends in July of 1952 in Washington, DC. And what happened was that there was a mass sighting right over the Capitol building in Washington, DC. There were many lights in the sky. Now, many people believe that this was a UFO or an extraterrestrial incident, but in fact, it was not. It was German saucers, German craft that were flying over the Capitol building and essentially forcing the hand of the Americans to accept many of these Nazi scientists into their control structures. When many of these Nazi scientists came to America after World War II in Operation Paperclip, they infiltrated to basically every power structure in the United States, government, media, medical systems, basically everything. After World War II, James Forrestal...